Have you ever been in a situation where Bitcoin is going up but your portfolio is not doing well? Today I'm going to introduce you to a concept called Bitcoin dominance which is going to help you understand why sometimes all coins are not performing really well compared to Bitcoin. Bitcoin dominance is arrived by dividing Bitcoin market cap by total market cap. This helps you understand the market sentiment. One thing you need to understand is that HODL is a meme. If you follow smart money and if you are following people who are making a lot of gains, they rotate their money very often. If you follow smart money, you should understand that they move money season to season, quarter to quarter, and even within a few weeks before every dump, majority of the investors and the CEOs, they go out of the market. And then they invite the retail to come in and invest and they dump for liquidity. What I'm trying to tell you is that smart money rotate their money very often. So when they rotate, this is how they do it. When the market is not doing so well, Bitcoin is stable compared to all coins. For example, if you see the higher market cap tokens, they tend to remain stable. But the smaller caps and the meme coins, they dump heavily when Bitcoin is not doing so well, right? However, when there is a dump, relatively, compared to all coins, Bitcoin is gonna do pretty well. This is the reason major investors move their money from all coins to Bitcoin when the market is not doing so well. Bitcoin dominance helps you understand where the market sentiment is when it comes to large investors. This is the chart of Bitcoin dominance. If you see, every time it hits a resistance and it starts rejecting, that's when the altcoins pop. Just take this as an example. We had a pump yesterday, right? Take a look at this here. This purple line is a resistance and it hit the resistance and started dumping. And that's when you'll see all coins rally. Again, it's coming down to a major support. If it holds, it's again going to go up. If you compare the chart of Bitcoin dominance with the total market cap, you'd see every time it rejected, that's when we saw major altcoin rallies. Now, if you go back to 2021, they rejected off of here. And when it rejected, that's when you saw the biggest altcoin season that you have ever seen in your life, right? Again, like, you know, if you go back to 2019, 2018, all right, here we saw another major altcoin rally here in 2018. That happened when it rejected off of here. What you should understand is that you need to check this Bitcoin dominance chart every time before you start investing. Basically, you're trying to do what smart money is doing. If the smart money is moving from Bitcoin to all coins, they know that all coin seasons are coming. Season is coming, sorry. They always know more than you. They always know better than you because they have information before you. You should understand Bitcoin dominance chart in order to understand when the altcoin season is coming. Right now, we are expecting this one to hit this gray box. It is just climbing up and up and up. And when it hits this gray box, we're going to have a small altcoin season just like we had in 2018. This is going to repeat. When it hits this red box again, the red line again, it's going to bounce again to this green box right here. And when it hits here, we'll see the biggest altcoin season that you have ever seen. We have to wait for it to happen. This is something that you need to understand when it comes to Bitcoin dominance cycle. When Bitcoin dominance goes up and when Bitcoin price goes up, all coins are not going to do well. They are just going to stay flat. When Bitcoin dominance goes up and when Bitcoin is going down, your altcoins are going to go down. When Bitcoin dominance is going up, you, Bitcoin is moving sideways, you, you should know that altcoins are still going to go down. What you should understand is Bitcoin dominance goes up, it's not good for your altcoins. A good setup is when 
Bitcoin dominance is going down and Bitcoin price is going up, that's when you'll see a good rally. And when Bitcoin dominance goes down and Bitcoin goes down too, all coins can still stay flat. When the Bitcoin dominance goes down and all coin, Bitcoin is moving sideways, all coins are going to do okay, but not too well. An ideal setup is when Bitcoin dominance is going down and all Bitcoin is going up. That's when all coins are going to rally. I hope it is clear. Uh, you should understand this before you start investing into crypto. Bitcoin dominance cycle is something that everyone investor trader everyone should be aware of before you start trading or investing in crypto let's end this session with bitcoin dominance in the next session i'm going to introduce you to different concepts and uh, different concepts that you should be looking into while investing into crypto you know, top 10 things that you should be looking into uh, while researching crypto in order to invest into crypto i hope you enjoyed this session and if you enjoyed it please um, leave a comment and um, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i really appreciate you being here and uh, i hope you have a good day thank you